and welcome back to Bitfumes. And in this episode, we are going to give the link for a particular product for getting the reviews. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So let's see how we can do all that things. Go to Sublime and here if I go to app, HTTP, resources, then product folder and product resource, not the collection. Okay, and here comes these things. But I am not going to give link directly. I have to say href inside this whatever link you want to give, you can give that link. So here comes link and let's say reviews, not link. <laughs> reviews and here directly we can give the route. So route, but what the route we are going to give. So for that, Let's comment that and go to terminal and I will say php artisan route list and if I minimize this, yeah, you can see to get the reviews list, the collection of review, we have to give this route. That means review.index and obviously we have to provide the product ID. So this and here comes this arrow ID and I think you know that by using dollar this we can access that particular product okay so let's go to Chrome reload this page and yes we have this thing so if I go here nothing will happen because we have not created anything related to reviews so we will do that in later episodes but what next we can do with this important thing I want to give here is the rating so we have many reviews we have many star for many reviews and then we have to get the rating so let's just make a logic so I will say firstly the rating and here comes whatever will be the rating or the star given by user in a review we have to firstly sum up that and then divided by the number of reviews I think this is good I will say this arrow review reviews uh, let's see product model what we have given uh, it's a reviews okay that's good then reviews then arrow we have to sum of a star okay whatever the star is let's just sum up all these things so that's good and let's go reload this page and you can see rating is 13 <laughs> not 13 we have to provide this between 1 to 5 okay so we have to divide this by this arrow reviews arrow count whatever number of reviews it has let's divide that so now if I refresh you can see 3.25 is there but there may be condition when this will be 25252525255 never ending that so we have to make all these things in a round function of php which will just round up to a single digit or integer so there will be no dot notation so if you want you can use another uh, function from here if i give here maybe i, I think that's good if i give comma 2 let's see the result yeah that's nice 3.25 this is good very nice that's okay but what if a product doesn't have any review in that case the problem is this value will become zero that means the count of review will be zero and anything divided by zero is undefined and we will get error so to solve that problem what we have to do firstly we will say this arrow reviews arrow count is greater than zero uh, yeah that's okay okay this is good okay this that means the number of reviews is greater than zero then do this round off and all these calculation otherwise provide uh, no rating yet that's okay so no rating yet okay 
so this is good it's not going to show here but in the later episode when we create a new product we will going to see this in our api system suppose a product doesn't have any stock so is that true we are going to show zero stock as zero no i think we can give directly say if this stock count is equal to zero then we have to say simply um, not in stock yeah out of stock like that let's do that so if this is zero then let's simply say out of stock otherwise provide the same thing stock okay so if the stock is zero then nothing else so we have the product of id 4 and stock is 4 so we can easily manipulate that so product 4 the stock is 4 if i give stock 0 let's see the result you can see out of the stock is here this is actually the power of api we have manipulated this product table in such a way that it's looking very nice all things everything i think is inside this data okay that's very nice we can do we can add one more field here which says total price because we have 17 percent of discount here comes a new field which i will say total uh, let's say underscore price or let's use camel case so total price will be huh here comes a very important thing total price will be after minus of 17 percent so we have to minus 17 percent so how will we do do that so let's do some math so one minus whatever will be the discount okay so one minus again this arrow discount whatever will be the discount divided by 100 here comes the point value that means in decimal and then one minus it will give whatever will be the required after discounting then multiply by this discount and everything has to be round up to two decimal places okay so what this is i think if you don't know i will just tell you so after dividing by 100 17 will become 0.17 then 1 minus 0.17 will become 0.83 and then 0.83 minus uh, multiply by whatever will be the price this not has to be discount this has to be price and and in this case we have the price of 404 so i think this will be something 300 so let's just see what will be the result go reload total price is 335.32 and that's it so this is very much interesting and in the next episode we will do something more magic and if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe to my channel because here level magic will never end and we will meet in the next episode and don't forget to like with fumes on facebook twitter and instagram let's just commit all these things to github so git add all then git uh, commit hyphen m message message is uh, modified product details okay that's good then git push everything is good it is pushed reload seven commits and now it is eight commits that's very nice so everything is set up we will meet in the next episode till then Goodbye.